Today we're going to make a fantastic TPU plug using Tinkercad, so let's get cracking. We are back with another project for we're going to create a grate to keep critters out. Once again, if we check that U.S. measurement, this one's two and three quarters inches. If we just wanted to create a plug, let's check that as well. To create a plug, it would be 2.36 inches. So we've got a couple of options. Let's go make a part. If you've never worked with Tinkercad before, you can get there with Tinkercad.com. This is the home page. I always choose sign in with Google. Today, we're going to work with a 3D design by simply hitting create new 3D design. My first step is to always name them. You'll notice this says TPU plug. As soon as you do that, your project is saved to the cloud. I'll show you the Tinkercad dashboard if you back up just like this. Bingo, there is your project. After a while, you'll get an image showing what your design is. I'm not going to wait. We're simply going to click Tinker This to return to our project. All right, since we measured our project in inches, I'm going to switch Tinkercad from millimeters to inches. Typically, I stay with the metric, but for this one, there's the Imperial. Now we've got inches enabled. When we hit close setting, you can see this is a inch grid and these are eighth inch markings. Now we're gonna simply build our plug using the cone. When I bring this out, see that dotted center line in the middle? I'm gonna snap that down right at the center of our project just cause it makes it look neat. Now we're gonna change the properties of our cone. You could drag the handles, but if you drag the handles, you break these properties. I like these properties, it makes life easy. So let me show you how we type these in. I want my plug to be able to fit in that gap. So I'm gonna do 1.15 inches over here for how small it is at the base. I'm gonna take the top and I'm gonna make it 1.3, which gets to that 2.6 that we wanted from earlier. Bingo, there is your plug shape. Now I do want it to be a little bit more smooth, so I'm gonna make the sides to the max. And then I don't need this to be super huge, so I'm gonna take it back to three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna do that by typing 0.75 right here. Notice when I do that, it automatically switches to the fraction, but it broke this parameter. That's why we should not drag the handles. For this project, my design is essentially done, so I'm just going to leave it this time. Now, of course, I want this to be hollow, and I'm going to put the grade on the bottom. Check this out. Control D. Take the second one. Make it a hole. Right now, the size is match. But if I simply come over here to the properties, and let's say I make it 1.1, and I'm going to make it 1 and press Enter, all of a sudden, we are ready to cut it out. Now, I am going to align it. Let's select them both. Choose L for align. And we want middle and middle. It already was good, but I just want you to know how to align. And now we can select them and do Control G to group. This is what makes Tinkercad so slick. You make solids, holes, and when you group them, they cut out. Now, I want to put a grate on the bottom, and here is a cool way to do it. Search for grid. There are several fun ones to play with, but the one we want is the honeycomb grid. We're going to switch it to be a hole. It is going to cut the holes in the shape that we put here. Remember when we made this, this base is a little more than two and a quarter inches. So check this out. We're going to simply bring out a cylinder. We're going to hold down shift and we're going to stretch it until it says two and a quarter. If you bring that over, you can see it fits inside really nicely. We are going to change the thickness. 2.125 and press enter. Of course, this would be a solid and we need it to be full of holes. We're going to fill it with holes using this piece right here. We're going to stick with these first two numbers, of course. If you wanted to adjust them, you could. We're going to change this to 0.1 and press enter. And then we need this to be 6 by 6 and press enter. Notice if it has a glitch, just type the numbers and press enter again. We're now going to hide our purple part, select those two, choose L for a line, and I'm going to just choose center and center. And friends, when we do control G to group, bingo, you have got the great. If we do show all, it's all lined up. I'm going to do one more L for a line, and you have just created your part. How cool is that? With it prepared, let's quickly export it for 3D printing. 
export STL. I'm gonna call it TPU plug and I'm gonna hit save. Now friends, you can print this with all sorts of materials, but I wanna print it with some wicked cool TPU from Polar Filament. Of course, there'll be a link to the website in the description. There are a boatload of filaments available. I'm gonna take you down to a special area called Experimental. I am printing today with the Natural Flexible TPU 60D. If you check out the details, this stuff is super slick because not only is it flexible, but it's also rigid, which is going to be perfect for a part like we're making. Real quickly to set this up on the printer, we're going to go between 220 and 230, 60 for the bed, 80, 180 for the speed, and that varies by the printer. The spool is AMS compatible, but printing TPU on AMS is not recommended. Today, I'm going to print this on the Artillery X4 Pro. I work with my artillery using Orca Slicer. If you have not checked out Orca Slicer, I've got a setup video. I'll put a link over here. Right now, I'm going to hit Create New 3D Project. As you can see, I do have the Sidewander 4 with a 0.4 nozzle. And this is my artillery TPU, and I labeled it Polar Filament. All I did is went in and edited, and I just wanted to make sure that my temperatures were what I wanted. If we scroll down on the filament, I've got to set it for 220 for the first layer. And I'm going to make sure that is 230 for the other layers. And of course, the bed was set to 60. And those are the only adjustments I made. I did, of course, save it. And I'm going to keep that same name and just go over top of it just like that. Now let's import our part. There is the TPU plug. As you can see, it looks absolutely awesome. I'm going to choose the 0.2 standard settings. And let's slice the plate. As you can see, the part's going to take a little more than an hour. We can simply hit print and upload it to our clipper-based 3D printer. After a moment, of course, it bounces to the device menu, and we can wait patiently for our print to finish. Of course, a little more than an hour later, we have got a TPU print. A little bit of stringing, but it's going to work for what I need. All right, so we're back. It is from Polar Filament and created in Tinkercad. How freaking cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more beginner tutorials, of course, I'll have a link to my beginner playlist up above. I'm also super excited with how the print turned out. My neighbor's happy and that flexible TPU from Polar Filament is wicked cool. I want to quickly give a shout out to everybody supporting me via YouTube memberships. Three different levels of support starting as low as $5. And no matter which level you pick, you get early access to videos. I also want to thank everybody supporting me via Patreon. Love of that group is growing. It has got a sweet messaging area. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.